ClickUp tutorial, how to use ClickUp. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use ClickUp. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, ClickUp is an amazing software and it's absolutely free. However, there is a pricing plan which we'll get into later. I just wanted to get that out. Before we begin, I want to say in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about ClickUp. I'm going to tell you all of the features, how you can create tasks, how you can view different tasks, view charts, forms, automations, everything, right? So let's get into it. Now, over here, you have the get started button right so you can just simply go ahead and sign up get started down below you can see you have a bunch of different options and over here if you click on products you can see all of the features that it offers so if you click on all features you can see these are all the features that ClickUp offers it also gives you time tracking time estimates milestones Gantt view charts mind maps kanban views sprints and forms and if you click on time smart on the time tracking software smarter time tracking is over here you can see it as you can see right here it looks like that you can get started by clicking on the button and we should be good to go so let's go ahead and sign up now the sign up process is actually very simple and it's free uh, you can sign up with your email or work email or sign up with google i'm going to continue with email and when you first sign up on to click up they're going to ask you some simple questions like you know what would you like to use click up for right so let's say we want to use it for work and then they're going to ask you what would you like to manage and they give you some categories over here that you can go ahead and select there is a category that fits or best describes your needs you can go ahead and check them if not just simply click others and how did you hear about them and whatever you want to pick over there and then if you want you can invite people to your workspace by adding in their email address or paste multiple email addresses over here and then just simply click on i'm done and then do you use any of these tools if you have you can go ahead and select them if not you know just next just leave it i use slack so i'm going to click slack and click on next and i want to use basically time tracking and kanban boards maybe even calendar and if not just you know select whichever option you like so i'll just select some of these options and then just simply click on next and then you can go ahead and type in your workspace and then click on finish and after that they'll basically ask you some more questions uh this is the ai project builder you know it helps you so if you want you can describe your builder over here with the ai and then it'll set up everything for you but i'll just skip this and do it myself so give it a couple of seconds it's going to load up all of your workspaces and here we go so once you've done that this is going to be your dashboard this is where you basically do all of your matter so here on the left hand side you're going to see you have some options you've got the home inbox timesheets more and then down below you have your spaces spaces are going to be where you create your workspace so here you have theme space my projects right within them within a space you can create multiple different projects so here we have my project here you can see all of your tasks and what you need to do then you have your team documents here you can go ahead and add all of your information for your team members you know introductions email addresses google drives all the resources that you might need or well your project might need are going to be over here so that the team members can come over here and just simply go ahead and find whatever it is that they would need and you can build team structures and objectives and all of that so it's pretty cool and handy to have something like this available within your team or within your workspace so if you didn't know how to create a workspace well ClickUp will first you know create one for you as an example but you can create your whole new workspace by just simply clicking on this plus button right here here you can see you have some options like underneath organize you've got space and list you can go ahead and create yourself a space and then within it you can create tasks have documents whiteboards forms all of that they even have some templates if you want so if we click on the template section you can see some amazing templates over here by ClickUp. Go ahead and use them to your liking. So select whichever option you like. So we have the content planner over here. We've got the 50-50 partnership agreement over here. So you can go ahead and select whichever option you like and, you know, implement all of the template options within it. So here you can see this is the view. And yeah, first, let's go back to home and show you what you, it looks like so this is going to be your dashboard this is the home section also known as the dashboard here you will see everything right you can see your tasks your agendas your work your tasks that are assigned to you or your personal list assigned comments and then line up and yeah i stand up and you can add whatever it is that you want over here of course inbox means you have your messages going to be over here your private messages or dms you have your time sheet here you can see all of the time that you spend on each task or on each project 
you can add time by clicking on over here or just simply click on start timer to start recording time time entries are going to be over here you can see you can add entries so currently there are no entries for now so we'll leave it at that for now then if you click on more you will see all of your main options so you've got goals pulse clips whiteboards dashboards and documents as well uh, if you didn't know what dashboards are i'll hand them over here and so dashboards are going to be boards that will have the entire analytics for your project so you've got simple dashboard team reporting time tracking central board and everything so we'll just go with simple boards and we'll select the team space which is that project right there and click on create dashboard and it's going to go ahead and analyze the entire board the entire project and give us a pretty decent analysis on it give us charts give us graphs and everything so we can see how many tasks we have what are their status, whether they're unassigned, in progress, or completed. You can add cards over here, task completed over here, activity is going to be over here, right? So this is a pretty handy tool to have. Now let's go ahead and go into the spaces and try to create different tasks. And before we do that, I just want to show you some views basically i want to change the view of this right so currently this is the list view over here at the top you can see you have overview list and if you click on this plus button you can change the view so you've got list gantt calendar boards tables and docs my personal favorite is the board one which is the kanban one so if i click over here this is going to give you a column by column layout of your tasks your to do's are going to be over here assigned need review or completed whatever it is that you want you can create more tabs over here by clicking on this add group button and you can add each task by clicking on this plus button over here on each of these columns or by just simply clicking on add task button right here here you have the customized view button for the boards you can change it to whatever layout you want or board option you want you have your layout option over here you can add whatever options you want within them so you can see you've got card size card image if you want you can add one if not you can leave you can even add task description so each task will have their description laid out as well on the board but i think none is good stack fields stack you've got properties empty fields and task location if you want to have them or not but everything else looks good we'll leave it at that and you know close it you've got fields that are going to be over here you can add different fields so you can see we've got all these different fields and these are going to be available within each of these tasks so if i click open up a task you can see we've got all the fields right here so you don't have to worry about them and we've got filters groups sort as well so you have all these different options as well so clicking on the customize button right here you can open up the panel right here and close it as well so over here you've got a group option you can't unfortunately move these around but you can go ahead and rename them so right now i can't but rename option is not available but i think that's because we are in the free plan but that's fine you can see uh, it opens up over here we'll close that up but yeah you also have the templates option over here by clicking on browse a template you can browse a template with the kanban view over here uh, if they don't it'll say no so we'll just leave that for now and over here you can sort them as well you can sort them by name by status if you click on status this is how it will be sorted you know we've got to do's and all of that and over here if i click on by task name all of the tasks are going to be sorted by name but yeah we'll leave it at that as not for now but you can go ahead and access it right here so now you know how to go around with the kanban view now let's go ahead and add some tasks so to add tasks you can see we already have some example tasks over here to add tasks we just simply click on add task and then over here you add the name of the task you want we'll say task number four it's going to be set to my project you can add a date over here to let's say it's due date is by the end of the month and you can add a priority as well so we'll just say it is a high priority not too low not too high and then just hit enter and it'll be saved and it'll also show you this little pop-up that you know what the task has been created so now if i wanted to open up the task i can go ahead and add more detail within the task right here so i can add status i can assign someone to whoever i want i can go ahead and track time by clicking on the button and just simply clicking on start timer and now the timer is starting uh, time estimates tags relationship if you want to add that whatever you want and then over here you can add custom field subtasks and checklist as well you can also add a description where you have to make sure that you want know, this task is this make sure you check out for these 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 things make sure you check this list make sure you do this you know basically a layout of what you want to do in the task and 
over here you have the chat functionality for that specific task so whoever is completing the task you can go ahead and talk to them you know what's the progress and all of that so i'll just pause that time for you now there we go and also you have this links option right here this button where you if you click on the links you can go ahead and add the links over here click on more to add over here you can see you've got link docs waiting on uh, link task blocking custom if you want over here at the top you can move the task by so just quickly clicking on this button right here and just selecting where you want to move it to if you want you can click over here to add it to another list and yeah overall it's a pretty cool project and once it's completed you just simply move it to wherever you need it to you know move it so let's say currently we're doing this task it's over here this task is needs review and this task has been completed so this is how it would look like right once it's done you can also automate this process by using automations as well so whenever a task is completed over here done you can get notified or whatever you want whenever a task is completed get notified a notification to the group chat or to the team chat where all of your team members are so that they know that new tasks are being added or what their statuses are and so now that we've you know sorted out some of the tasks now if you go over to dashboard or the dashboard or we'll go with the simple dashboards it's going to load up and you can see now things have changed a little bit a little bit more color i would say so let me just refresh this right now it says three are unassigned but they're not unassigned they are unassigned my bad but you can see you know they've changed they've created and all of that so i think this looks good and if we go to the time sheet we can see the time over here and you know this is a billable hour so you can see how much money you can make as well so overall i think it's a pretty cool software has everything you would need clickup is one of my favorite softwares out there because of all the functions that it provides and for free as well so if you wanted to go ahead and purchase the plan i'll show you some of the cool features that it has within the paid plan but for now we're going to stick over here so now you know how to create tasks change their views assign them detail them timesheets dashboards documents and all of that now let's go over the automations part so we're going to go back to the projects my project here we go now one second i want to change the view here we go so now i'll change the view from here so now here you can go ahead and rename them because sorry about that i forgot to mention one more thing that this is the overview right this is the team space here you can't rename the stuff because these are like the main ones if you go into within the project itself here you can go ahead and rename them to whatever you want and maybe you can even sort them out but you can add the new groups over here because their statuses and everything so this is a much better view so now let's go ahead and set up automation so for example i want to set an automation where i receive texts or message notifications whenever a task is completed so we'll go to automations over here as you can see at the top right corner here you have your automation so when is the trigger when something happens then you have a condition or whatever you want then do this so it's pretty simple self-explanatory and i believe something like this is already created within the template itself so you got category so let's go ahead and move so when moved to this location or then change status or stuff like that right so we want to go into statuses so when status changing then change assign when status changes then send a message or change due date or whatever right so something like this would look good but click on popular see what they have send email like something like this this looks good we can use this so let's go ahead and do this but this is for 12 dollars so we'll just create one ourselves so when task or subtask status changes right here we'll select over here status changes from any to closed right confirm then do this then over here we'll go ahead and search for messages so we'll search for messages over here should find that option sorry not custom fields so some of these features are for the pro version i forgot to mention that uh like for example if i wanted to call a webhook that is for the pro version uh if i wanted to get the email that is also for the pro version but like for example if i connect over here you can see it says that you know what it is for the business version so that's why we can't go ahead and technically create this but you can easily do that as well by just simply going over here let's say i wanted to change it to something else right for example so since i can't go ahead and do that i'll just go ahead and you know try one of these 
as an example. So I can't send the email because that is for the pro versions. So we'll just say something else. So we'll just select this one. When due date arrives, then change the status, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, when this happens, when due date arrives, then do this. What should we do? We should change the status to what status? To need review or something like this. Or we can create a whole new status as well if you want to, right? So over here, we'll do that. They also have the AI version. You can just type in what you want it to do. And then, you know what? It'll do it. When a task is created, then change the assignee, right? So we'll just do that over here and then just simply click on create. So now that it is active as well, you can see it right here. Now, whenever a due date is arriving, so here I'll just say, you know, today is 22nd. So I'll just say, you know what, today is the date. And I'll just say this should be done by 9 p.m. That is the due date, right? So now it should automatically go ahead and change the task. So I'll just reload it, see whether or not it works. It should automatically post it over here when the due date arrives. But yeah, pretty simple. This is how you can go ahead and create automations. So now you know how to create automations. Now you know how to create tasks, how to change their you know statuses, how to change views, how to assign them and all of that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. So this is the pricing of monday.com. As you can see, the free version is pretty cool. But if you go with the unlimited version, there's just $7 per month per member. You're going to get everything from the free plan. You're going to unlimited storage, unlimited spaces, unlimited custom fields, scans, and time tracking, and AI compatibility, and much, much more. But if we scroll down below, let's go ahead and compare all features, and we'll see whether or not we get automations in it as well. So integrations, we got integrations. We can integrate 50 plus native integrations. Time tracking is available, of course. Save your Google Drive and all of that. Those aren't available. Two factor is also present and 24 seven support. So we should have automation volume here we go so automation options multiple actions and conditions we can add that so that means we can get the uh, other version but i think if we wanted the emails and webhooks and all of those ones for that i think we do need to get the business one so here you go so unlimited is going to be seven dollars per member per month business is going to be twelve dollars per member per month then we have the business plus which is going to be nineteen dollars per member per month then we have the enterprise you can see all of the tasks and spaces that you get within each of these plans it's unlimited file storage in the free plan is only 100 mbs but you know what if you go with the seven dollar version or the twelve dollar version you get unlimited storage in all of them which i think is pretty cool but yeah, so pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is how you use ClickUp. And these were all the important information that you need to know about ClickUp as well. There's also ClickUp apps. You can see all of these different applications that you might need. So we've got Giphy, the AI, the default private views, automations, chat, and everything. So keep that in mind. But yeah, these were all the things that you needed to know about ClickUp, how you can use them, and how much it costs. So Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and goodbye.